Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you a um, time-saving uh, trick. Um, I see a lot of people make this mistake and I in fact made this mistake when I first started. Uh, my f The first bunch of games I made I did the exact same thing um, and now over time I, I've you know learned from my ways but uh, as I help people with their projects I notice that they're doing the same thing and um, in the end it just costs you a lot of time. Um, so I'm going to show you right now um, what I'm talking about. Um, there's there's an actor here, and that's your prototype actor. And then when you drag them onto the scene, um, these are the instances of those prototypes. So I have my round rules here uh, for this game. And it's just a simple concept. Um, I select the things, and when they're all gone, it goes to the next scene. And so on and so on. I just whip this up really quick. Um, for a sample type game um, and basically there's um, a certain amount of balls on each scene and this one I have six so you know the round rules say when there's none left go to the next scene well I have to tell the game how many balls are on each scene and with with that what I've done is I have a round rules and as you see it's unlocked and I have here how many balls to seven so on every scene it it sets how many balls there are on the scene I'll go to this one open it up you'll see this one's set to five now that's all fine and dandy everything works great um, but the problem is is I've unlocked this actor and um, right now it's not a problem but it could create problems later on uh, especially if you have a game that's uh, you know 20 30 40 50 60 70 scenes uh, long um, so let's say now um, I want to change something uh, rather than when I uh, complete the level and it just is, just goes straight to the next level um, I want to add a you know round complete rule in there well in order to do that I'm gonna have to now because every one of these is unlocked if I make a rule in my prototype I'll watch I'll show you um, and I'll just put this this in here for now now I'll go to the one on the scene and you'll see it's not there um, and that's because this actor is unlocked and um, unlock actors don't take on the rules from the prototype which is up here so if I wanted to make a change that says you know round or level complete or something I'm gonna have to go into 80 levels and make that change in every one of these round rules and you can imagine how much work that would be um, all because I wanted to put you know how many um, balls in this little spot here so I'm going to show you how to avoid that I'm going to go in and revert to prototype all of these um, let's see here let's go to the first one open this up okay that one's already done go to this one okay go to this one revert to prototype once you revert them to prototype, they take back they take back the elements of the actual prototype. Uh, there should be one more here. Revert to prototype. So now any change I make to the round rules will take effect uh, on all of them. So simply to get around from uh, basically you should never unlock an actor unless you're looking to use the scene attributes um, like controlling the camera and stuff like that. Otherwise, there's really not a good reason to unlock an actor. You can do everything with this trick I'm going to show you right now. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create an attribute in this in, in the actor. And I'm going to hit the plus sign. And because the, the amount of balls is a positive whole number, I'm going to use index. And I'm going to call this how many balls. Now, what I'm going to do is in this rule here, I'm going to say change how many balls instead of to three, I'm going to say change it to self how many balls um, and there's you can see the difference here this is game how many balls this is self how many balls you might be have how many lives uh, how much time you know many different things you would use this for so now you'll say well there's no number there so how does it know how many balls well simply what we'll do is in every scene we'll go in and rather than unlock now we can just change this, and I think this one was five. Let's go check. Uh, well, nope, three, seven. So simply, we can just change this to seven. 
and it will this rule up here will grab that number and change it to that all without unlocking this actor so now we'll go to this one here and this is six so I'll just open this up change that to six and this one is five so change that to five and one more and this one should be three yep change that to three so now with all of these locked I can still play my game and it follows the same rules all without unlocking an actor so now what I can do is I can go into my round rules and say oh I want to make a change now and rather than um, you know when, when balls equal zero go to the next scene I can just change that and I can say uh, let's see spawn actor and I can spawn my level complete and I'm gonna spawn it right in the middle of the screen so I'm gonna say 240 by 160 and then I'll go to my level complete and um, I'm gonna say rule when touch is pressed change scene to next scene and hit preview so I changed basically two rules and now my whole game is working just the way I want it. With all those actors unlocked, I would have had to go into every single round rule and add that rule in there. And uh, now I don't have to. So it, it's very, very, it's it's a very good idea to just change the self attributes um, to what you need rather than unlocking your actors. Uh, it'll save you a lot of time later on. Um, learn from my mistakes uh, trust me this is a great way to do things and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, you can download the project file at uh, gshelper.com if it interests you and don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video in YouTube and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video